So I, 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 belief is not a healthy way to of meditate of using your mind. Uh, Faith I have, but that's knowledge that is not explainable that you can't explain. It, but you have the knowledge that I have that I've seen you have faith but not belief correct got it you've dedicated your life to this work and uh, might I add we are all indebted to you for it do you recognize the value of what you have done and what you'll continue to do until your 90s? I see the value in individuals that I've met or that I've I've talked with uh, and they have received the same help, education, whatever you call that I have received from similar broadcasts. And... uh, they blame me, but it's not my fault. It's the, the people that I play. Um, and um, I see it. It's not a popular program, I'd say, compared to, you know, the people who broadcast to millions of people. But it doesn't do anything. It just takes the time. But, uh, so that, but there are individuals that I know and um, that, that I've met that have received life-affirming, life-changing, growth uh, kind of, of uh, experience that have you know, changed our lives. Yeah. Do you, that's the radio. Do you do it for them or do you do it for you? Oh, I do it for them. If it was just for me, I'd stay at home and just play it on my radio, um, on my uh, CD player, on my computer. I wouldn't have to come down here. And put up with some, you know, the some of the the politics that goes on and the and the pressures and stuff, which are not the pressures are not terrible. The working conditions are not terrible, but some of the politics are terrible. Um, and we have a important open door policy at the station, which I've taken advantage of. I came walking in here and said, oh, "I want to volunteer," and I and uh, I started working here. I just started working, and uh, other people do that, and a lot of people that do that come in and are just most just trying to figure out what they can get, what they can take, how they can use the station. Careerists? And, no, careerists are people who are want to stay here and and have jobs here I think I, but, the, but people who just want to use the station for even from the point of going to the refrigerator and stealing a sandwich and then going home or you know or stealing a somebody's mail and then leaving and never coming back to um, the equivalent of coming here and stealing somebody's mail every day for five years and then never coming back that just taking from the openness of the of the institution, uh, taking advantage of the um, supposed uh, naivete of people who are dedicated, uh, idealistic, and who, uh, from the, the other point of view, stupid because they're not using the station the way it can be used for their own profitability. Instead, they're trying to do some big spiritual thing or you know um forgive me yeah less interested in the politics of pacifica primarily interested um, in roy so i don't mean to cut you off it's okay it's but as you look back at your life and you know we're all at a point in time where we're kind of gazing we're looking over our right shoulder to see what we kind of did right or wrong, etc. If there was something you could have changed along the way in terms of the way you have lived your life, what would that be? 
I think I wouldn't have worked so hard at establishing an academic career or trying to establish an academic career and trying to force feed myself uh, with information that I wasn't interested in so I could get a degree when my studies became uninteresting. But I stuck with them for too long rather than than leaving <clears throat> to find out, to entering the void <laughs> of not knowing where to go or what to do, but knowing where I wasn't going to go until I got desperate uh, and just left. Do you love what you do, or has this become a form of service, a repayment of some kind of karmic debt, something that you need to do as opposed to the joy of this selfless 38-year dedication to this work? I love it. I mean, it is a debt, but I love to do it. I love I love to do the show every night. I'm... Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to have a vacation because I've uh, situations have set up that I can take one a vacation. I have a good substitute. There was just uh, uh, a really good article in Huntington Post about Americans don't take vacations. Yeah. Even when they're paid vacations, they don't take them, and yep. how stupid that is. Uh, because you, if you take a vacation, you come back in much better shape and do a much better job than if you stick on the job. Um, so I'm thinking and taking a vacation. I haven't had one for years. How long? Uh, several years, I guess. And uh, that's you know, and you lose your. We don't we don't build vacation time here. <clears throat> Diana is the same thing. She has like 400 hours of built up time, but at the hospital they save it up. Here you lose it every year. But um, uh, I am. I don't want to miss. Um, it's going to be a sacrifice because there's some really interesting programs coming up that I'm not going to be able to play. I'll be able to listen to because uh, on the radio if I'm on vacation, but I won't be able to play them. And that's going to be, and it'll do as much good as you know it would be if I was here. But I enjoy it. I I, I love to be up at night. I love to be here. The the honor that I never feel less that it is an honor to be at the station, to be on the air doing anything I want except seven words. <laughs> um, and the station is empty and there's nobody here except me and I'm doing and I'm doing the show and it's just and it's 112,000 watts and and uh, this is a gift that I've earned that I love. And I, I, I love to do this. I, it's, and it's an honor to do this. Uh, and I never get over that. And to, to, to pick up still the same feeling. To pick up an uh, Alan Watts tape, which is now I pick up an Alan Watts disc. And I put it in the machine and I press a button. But I've chosen to play that at a certain time, and I've chosen which one to play, and and it wasn't being played uh, currently when I came on board. It had been, you know, I didn't start Alan Watts, uh, for instance, or I can just not play Alan Watts. I could play you know, Christian Murdy, you know, it's, and it's just it's an honor to be able to do that and to be able to and to have that freedom and and, and I love I, I love the radio I love the radio and I listen to the I listen to the show when the show gets boring I want to be the first person to get bored so I listen to the show it's very important to do that and I I love it I love every night 